<laughs> hey, welcome back to our channel. As it turns out, the art of flirting and striking out isn't strictly just humans. Here are the weirdest ways animals flirt. Sloths. We wouldn't say that female sloths have flirting down to a science. It's more of an art form for them. When a female reaches maturity and is ready to breed, she forgoes waiting for a male to come to her. Instead, in the ultimate boss move, she calls them to her. When she wants to, she unleashes a mighty scream, a shrill, high-pitched scream that is heard by males in her close vicinity. When they hear the scream, the boys come running. Of course, no one wants competition, and the female gets to watch as the males battle each other for her affections. Scorpion Scorpions are one of the last creatures that come to mind when we think of regular Casanovas, breaking hearts and taking names, but they have some serious and bizarre ways of flirting. To approach a potential female mate, Males will bring the animal kingdom's equivalent of a gift basket, dead corpses. According to entomologists, it's more of a box of chocolate. And just how far are scorpions willing to go to procure the best content for their grotesque but endearing to the female scorpion gift basket? They're willing to steal the prey from other insects such as spiders. Then it's time to tango. In scorpion lingo, the dance-like walk the couple embarks on is called a promenade a deux, during which males have been observed actually stinging their partners. Peacock jumping spider Peacock jumping spiders, or the males anyway, have a hard knock life. They reach a point in their short lifespans when they need to mate. That's when they need to learn to toe the line between wooing a female or failing and morbidly dying via cannibalism by the female he had a crush on, no less. Peacock Jumping Spider's method of wooing includes using a vividly colored fan on his abdomen to dance in front of the female. If she's impressed, the interaction moves on to the next step. If she's not, you are still watching our video, right? Please help this video rank up and hit the like button. Satin Bowerbird Male satin bowerbirds have bleeding hearts through and through. The amount of effort, time, and resources they place in hopefully impressing a female is something to gawk at. Before they invite a female over, they construct what's called a bower. This bower, which is more of a bowerbird-sized castle, is decorated to the nines. The male satin bowerbird will gather the highest quality and the prettiest of sticks, straws, and feathers. They have even been observed placing flowers in their quote-unquote front yard. Females are known to reject males' bowers. For the entire year, the male satin bowerbird will maintain the bower to keep it in tip-top shape for when he finally meets the one. Blue-Footed Booby The blue-footed booby needs a little bit of an introduction. It's an underdog in the animal kingdom named after its iconic, giant, brilliantly blue and webbed feet. Most notable, its name comes from the Spanish word bobo, which means half-wit, idiot, or clown. When you look at the male's courtship dance, you can't help but root for the blue-footed booby. Their feet play a large role in the courtship dance. For one thing, females use the vividness of their blueness to judge whether or not they have potential as a pattern or not. But when it comes to the actual dance, they use them to stomp, lifting them up and down, high step, and show off to an interesting female, one foot at a time in a move known as sky pointing. The success rate for this flirting technique is surprisingly high. Victoria's Rifle Bird If you're not careful, a Victoria's Rifle Bird may just come and sweep your girl off her feet. They don't need an elaborate nest or a mighty call to get attention. Instead, they have groove and swagger. This bird of paradise performs a dance so complex that juveniles have been observed busting out the moves in their nest in preparation. The female, however, will be looking more at the male's figure. See, unlike the brown-colored female, a male boasts a turquoise pattering when he fans out his wings. For the mating ritual, the male will puff out his chest to show off the blue pattern and sways until the female is rightfully enchanted by his moves. Peacock 
And who is the expert on romance? It's the OG of flirtation, none other than the glorious flamboyant peacock. When it's time to get a female's attention, leave it to them to do what they do best strut around and show off their characteristic emerald trains. They'll spread their tail in a fan-like shape and again, strut back and forth. All the while, they're shaking their feathers in order to produce a rattling noise that captures the attention of a female, also called a peahen. The more vivid the male peacock's train is, the better his chances are of the female picking him as her favorite. Check out this video. It's specially selected for you. You'll like it.